Welcome everybody to Texas. It's <laughs> and immediately loses words. But welcome one and all to qualifying here in fuck. I <laughs> I didn't realise I had my stream open in another tab. Thank goodness I use application audio capture. That has saved me so much. <laughs> I'm gonna go through through those at some point and mark them. Oh, we're still waiting for the session to begin. It's 4, 53, 52, 51, 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40, 39, 58, 57. Well, here we go. Who's going to be first to leave the pit lane? It is all a challenge. It's all a dare. We have Lucas and McLaren. Jessen has... As Matt... At in RB, Hakuna in Mercedes, Mar in McLaren, has as has Sosteku as a reserve, Streetlight for Alfa Romeo. Oh, we have someone leaving the pits. Who is that? It is none other than Matt Stakes for Alpha Tari. People starting to leave the pit lane now, getting ready to set some lap times that will be worthy. And also, you may notice, no chair creak. And you might be thinking, well, how's that possible? I remembered I had a spare chair next to my actual chair, so I got the spare chair out, and it looks like a regular cushion, and you can't hear it at all. It's just incredible. Did I accidentally turn Palm Fact on? Did I turn Park Fermi on? <laughs> Whoops! Whoops! Lucas' DNF is outlap. I mean, average McLaren in tier 2. I mean, then again, though, we're talking about fucking Mar. Here as well. Both of the McLarens. In fact, I think Mercedes tier 2 is better than McLaren tier 2. But if you're comparing McLaren T1 to Mercedes tier 2, McLaren W's. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck was your brain cell thinking in that moment? That That's not gonna... Penalties in qualifying don't count towards the penalties championship. I'm tired, dude. Can I not have this today? Can, can I not? Have you? DNFing every five fucking minutes. Time to cook. Your R2 broke. Nah. No, nah, bro, you can't race. He's out. Unless your spare controller works, you're out of this race, my guy. A quote from Mar, for fuck's sake, my R2 broke. Hi, play on controller. Okay, English just left the room then. As it respectfully does usually. I'm just having a more casual conversation. Tier 1, it's about the action. Tier 2, you can kind of just have a casual chat about how the car is doing, how the engineering's going. And then in Tier 3, I don't fucking know. Hello! The if hello, Mary. Ma Mar Ma mm. I can't speak English. But hello, Mar. Hello. So how did it feel to get your R2 broken? Oh. 
and then you got disqualified for blocking the. Tier 3 is obviously chaos because you can never tell what they're going to do. 136.0, but then Tigo's going to go faster at 134.4, but then Veckel, two seconds faster, 132.9. And Streetlight's going to try and match that, but gets P3. No, Tigo gets P3. I'm oh, sorry, game, but we just did very many laps now, and then Sustaco. Mar, do you think we put Deku in the wrong tier? Did we do a Rob Star? Because that's close to tier 2 pays. I'm baffled. Anyways, Merritt over here for Williams invalidates his lap. Lovely jubbly. You just love to see that, don't you? Mostly drivers set a time now. Matt being P8 at the moment. Lewis has not gone out to take a lap. Oh, that's good to know. Well done to Deku. Ooh, fantastic job. In fact, we have quite a few drivers moving up. If you want to tell us more, you don't have to. Yeah, people are going to be starting coming into pit lane. And obviously, Jess Abbott comes here. Honestly, Knox must have the best job. He's the greatest guy out of everybody. Your internet's acting up far hilarious. Vecca, Jess are going to tier one. Deku and Merritt to tier two at least. That's pretty good. That is pretty good for them. Obviously, Jess, we all knew Jess was going to move up to tier one. Because the thing is, it's Jess Abbott. Just one of the best drivers in the entirety of tier SRL. Dominance on bloody point. In, honestly, I can't describe Jess Abbott. Her speed is impeccable. She can manage the car. Uh, she's only lost one race this season. Kind of reminds me of Max Verstappen at Australia, but okay. What if it was predicting it? Like, I know it wasn't the same race and all, but it did happen in a race. And it was due to a brake duck failure, and Jess Abbott was because she had a penalty, and Thomas was in range of Jess. So no matter what was going to happen, it was either Thomas was going to keep defending, or get the position anyway because of Jess's penalty. Like, all of this stuff is pretty much debatable when you're talking about the landscape of Tier 1. And you don't really know what's going to happen. And Merritt's also having a lot of lag spikes. So he is going to get invalidated due to that. And Lewis is invalidated. What is that lap? Lovely jubbly. Ugh. Merritt is not happy. Saying, fucking hell, I can't set a lap for fucker's sake. And then people are just doing the fire emoji. <laughs> You know, it kind of sounds Japanese, honestly. Emoji. Can't tell it. Anyways, the Alpine of Lewis is about to get started and get ready for the racing action as we go. Oh, wow. Merit is still out. Despite the fact of not being able to set a time at the moment. Apologies to that. I don't know if it's my internet. Or if it's Mara's internet just causing a magnet. Beyond me. He is going to go through these, like... I honestly want to call them the S's. 
But the thing is, they're not like perfect S's. They're a bit tighter than the S's at Suzuka. Actually, no, S's at Suzuka are tight. Mm. What would you call those turns? Because they're like the S's, but they're not exactly the same. Anyways, people are now getting back onto the laps. Let's look at who's closest to the line at the moment. Uh, I think it was actually Lewis KYFC. He is in sector three now. Mara is gonna go and get some food. He steps out of the cockpit, he's gonna go have some food. Lovely jubbly. Caution in Sector 2, it's, of course it's with one of the McLarens. Of course it is. We could do it. Would you, 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 would Like, the rest of the grid is ahead of you, and once Merrick can actually get his fucking internet together, you're probably going to be last place except for Mar, who had his R2 break. Lucas crossing the line. <laughs> <laughs> Bro's trying to recreate BMH's crash yesterday. <laughs> Fails miserably. <laughs> Your genius is immaculate. You hate the final corner, Tigo. As if I couldn't fucking tell. Are you invalidated? Bro, are you serious right now? Veku! What? Two attempts faster uh, than Jess Abbott. Excuse me. Excuse me. What? My brain is just shocked. This is unbelievable. Two temps faster. That's that's going to be some serious competition. This is kind of passing off off Latifi versus is Rico vibes. Seriously. This is passing off Rico versus Latifi vibes. Which Rico, we all know he won it in the end. Well done to him. But to be fair, I was rooting for Latifi. Because, honestly, being able to keep on top of a driver and keep it consistently... Mwah! Chef's kish. Kesh ke... Kesh... Kesh me... Kesh me... Kesh... Chef's kiss. I'm gonna lose my fucking eyeballs. Merritt is still having lag spikes. Like, look at the fucking... Look at this! It just snaps and it's like... Ooh, ooh. Look, look, his car was off track there! And then it... I 
I sound legitimately insane. We have like four minutes left to go in the session. And he's struggling this bad with the lag, dude. I don't think he's gonna have a very fun race. I think Matt, I think he's gonna be in fucking last place at this rate. His internet is literally worse than Marathon. That says something. That says so much. I don't need to say any more than that to know the problem there. But he is going to finally set a time, 1.35, and Lewis KYFC is going to have to feel the wrath of Mar. He's actually gone to go set a lap time. In fact, quite a few people will want to be doing since we're kind of going to near to the end of the session, but let's see. It's just going to do a balls to the walls move and DNF. Because we all know how that played out for Rico here at Kota. No, Jess is going to go for one final lap in. Lucas is not. Is Vekel going to? I do see some movement in the garage. It is from Lucas. He's going to make the move out. In fact, all of the drivers are going to make move outs. Yep, even Vackle's moving out of the pit lane. Matt is entering it. He's just finished his laps. But there it is. There's his rate. There's his qualifying finish. Because at this point, you'd be doing a fool's errand to come out right now. And there's already some racing action going on before the start of the race. With Merritt trying to push, but the Alpine is also with him, so he's lagging as well. It's kind of like a magnet field. If you get near the car, it's just going to start sucking you in. I'd never thought I'd be saying that my entire life, but you know what? We see things we don't want to say. I don't know what my accent. I don't know what I've got an accent now. I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Oh, Lewis KFC knows there's nothing he can do, and he's gonna DNF from the session. <laughs> there's just there's a fucking McLaren part on the curb. I sound like Mickey Mouse, dude. Genuinely. Genuinely. I am Nicholas Latifi. I am Nico Last. God, this monitor. It survived. <laughs> oh my God. My microphone's on the floor, but it's like, it's fine to a degree, but oh. holy fuck. My, my webcam, which I do actually own one. I don't use it for streams is on the floor.
the f there we fucking go. Jesus Christ, sorry about that. You may have just heard my voice cut out. That was because of the whole monitor crashing thing. My monitor fell down all over everything. Just the worst thing in my time. Wind shift S. I don't need to send Sue screenshots, thank the fucking lord. Wouldn't it be funny if I did the same thing as yesterday? But there it is. Jess Abbott's gonna line up on pole. Vackle P2, Sustecu P3. Let me just quickly grab the music bot. If I can remember which one it is. What's the name of the music bot? Oh, it's Pit Stop Boys. Slash play. I hope you can all hear that. Fucking hell, why? I hear cars moving. Oh, I've been desynced. Oh, I've been desynced. Sorry about this, just give me a few seconds. I got desynced. I got fucking desynced, dude. There's nothing I can do, I got desynced. Legitimately nothing I could do. Also, Merritt got hosting permission, so raise the Lord and Jesus Christ about what's and next. Sorry, we might miss some racing action there. I got desynced. Horrible fucking desync too. So, uh, thank Mara's little fucking stunt for that. Of him wanting me to play the American National Anthem at the start of the race. What the fuck is the... What the fuck? My controller isn't working. go oh my god sorry but we're back from being the saint to veckel right behind i mean in p2 he wants to make a move on jess but he's not gonna get it done just yet he's kind of just a sitting duck he can't really do anything 
Let me also reinvite Lewis KFC. I can't invite her, sorry. Also, we do have a first penalty merit three seconds. We didn't get to see what happened there. Also, Lucas chasing Sosteku here. Oh, hold on, Mara looks to be going for a move on Williams. Driver merit, but he doesn't do it because of a glitch. Fantastic. This is just what we needed today, McLaren Williams lag. Meanwhile, let's look at the Mercedes of Hunica, who is catching up to the McLaren of Lucas. But is he gonna get a move done? Is he gonna get it done and dusted? He's gonna break really hard not to accidentally rear end him. He's going to get the DRS, but the thing is, does he have enough straight line speed to take on Lucas? Apparently not. Lucas, however, is also chasing off to Sosteku. Wait a minute. Honuka got... It said lap two, I swear. Anyways, Tigo Defunde keeping a close distance to his teammate. I don't know when team orders are going to come into play. the partridge in me na 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 Lucas here is just trying to keep close distance to Sasteku. But Sasteku is not going to be overtooken. He does not want to know what take. He is instead going to keep going. And we have bad news from Lewis, he no longer can get back into driving. And the game won't allow him to. Mar, three seconds. Mar, what have I told you? you, you you're not leading. No, oh, no, you are leading the penalties championship with one minute and 16 seconds. I'm not making this shit up. One minute and sixteen seconds. That is two DSQs and then some. And there's a virtual safety car. What the hell has happened? I don't see any dead people on track, so, uh... Yeah, sure, Lewis KYFC. Ugh. Mara's actually behind KOFC. So, bleh, take that information for what you will. Anyways, rip, rip, huh? <laughs> what? It was still being showed as a VSC when DRS was enabled. 
I think we might need to restart the race. Something's telling me this lobby's gonna just get worse and worse. I think we need to restart the lobby preemptively. But hey, that's just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. Anyways, Tigo is still remaining close behind his teammate. He's not gonna make any team orders or moves yet. So we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens. In fact, most of these close gaps, no one's actually going for the move. Should be real nice right now because I would literally rather just watch tier one on while you're doing this. I mean, don't make me wrong, we, last night we had a shit show of a problem. But hey, we pushed past it. We're gonna keep going. Honestly, that's a lot of people watching on a field than in a grandstand. I don't know if they've heard of this thing called not touching grass. It's what a regular F1 fan would do. Man, three seconds, six seconds, bro, when you're not doing a Qatar again. Bro, you're not, you're not, you're, you're not doing a Qatar again. We're not, we're not having this. We're not having a Qatar again. Oh my god, this PC is so dusty. I can smell fire. I need to get the ventilation sorted out on this thing. The amount of cables I have in here, you may think I'm in a virtual safety car. We've only had virtual safety cars, no full safety cars yet. Why is that? It's on reduced, but we've had like it's either been no safety car, virtual, or a virtual safety car. Like, what happened to the regular safety car? <laughs> Jess is just gonna keep leading this girl on prey. There's no one doing any interesting moves. What the fuff? What the fuff did this man do to get a... Oh. Right. So now he has about... 10 seconds of penalty. Okay, he has 20 seconds of penalties. And he retires making... Oh wait, no, I can't say that. Rulebook states that even if you retire from a session... You are still going to carry your penalties with you. So no matter if you have got like thousands of penalties, like if you got 40 seconds and you decided to DNF, I'm still going to give you the 40 seconds. Mara saying such a shit league. Bro, you barely did anything. Everyone in here is better than you, except for Lewis KYFC. But to come really say shy. I'm actually surprised I got hired by fucking Ferrari of all people. Like, where would the Scuderia Ferrari hire? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm talking about a different league. 
or you can have the C E. You have earned it. Well, these have unchecked it, I think. Yeah. Uh, you're not paying for like five seconds, GFL? Apparently Mar is, ang Mar is angry enough to say I'm moving to truck racing and then next Grand Prix he says Hey guys I'm back. I totally didn't just have a fucking rage quit Seriously, dude You're gonna say you do it then do it or At least just drive tier one you didn't really need to drive tier two Honestly, the way Mara's wording things, it looks like he's gonna quit. Someone on the nine laps still? No. Mika Hakkinen! He's gone into the pit lane, he's gonna enter the pit lane. Let's see, what is his pit stop going to look like here? He's going to go on to some new medium streetlights going to overtake him. Matt Stakes getting ahead of him as well. Let's see, Merritt in the Williams, could he get the, could he get the spot? Two seconds and yes he does! He gets the spot! Oh, he's now P9 Hakkinen is. I'm just going to call him Hakkinen. It's just easy. Well, Lewis KYFC is so far behind on the grid. There are no interesting gaps, actually. I mean, I guess we could watch Veckel lose time to Jess. Jess, we're amazing, Abbott. I don't know. What what would be a good middle name for Jess? Like, because you've got Jess Abbott. But you've got to have a nickname, middle name. Honestly, I think Jess Abbott with this pace could get into like F1 Esports or something like that. Actually, I don't know. What is the highest racing league? What is the best racing league? You have Create a Series and PSGL. But what's the best league you can get into? I mean, obviously, you have to be sponsored by EA. I mean, it just sounds a bit no shit Sherlock there. Because if the league's not sponsored by EA, seriously, can I stop smelling fire for five seconds? In fact, my room feels like a fucking oven! Also, remember that realistic leaderboard from that test run? I might have it up and running soon. I was struggling getting SimHub working again. But all I needed to do was 
unplug my computer from power. Not just like power it off. No, I mean like unplug the cord and plug it back in. And it works now. Because I tried a soft reboot, S still didn't work. But then I tried unplugging it from the mains and plugging it back in. Hey presto, whatever was causing the issue is gone. Veckel's gonna enter the pit lane, Jess stays out. Oh, let's see, does Sus Stake you have enough time that he can make it a has one do? Veckel's gonna finish, and yes, it's a has one two. Ooh. Has officially as a one to this race. They're already leading the world driver. They already have the leader of the world drivers championship and they are winning the world constructors championship. That's fucking crazy. Honestly, dude, Jess Abbott, top class driver. Because if she gets last place in tier 1, I'm going to lose all faith in reality. It's basically like Max Verstappen coming into his new... But here it is. This is... That's it. It's a has one two. I don't honestly know what to tell you. It kind of feels a bit crazy. Oh no, Sus! Sus Deku's gonna get ahead! Huh? Huh? <gasps> Jess Abbott's left the session! Jess has had a disconnect! Matt Stakes also has a disconnect. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Has the entirety of EA just disconnect? Oh. Wait, what? Wait, wait, what? Uh, what? What the chip hit? These are not the official results, what the fuck? Huh? What the fuck just happened? What the fuck, dude? Okay, um, right, let's get people re-invited and let's re-sort this out. Uh, that's just, that's just, just, are you f***ing serious? EA kicks us out? This is insane! Like, when the bait race is at its boringest, EA is just like, uh-uh, that shit for your race! Off it goes, unplugged. Just like that. The fuck, dude? I'm gonna get the announcement out that we're doing a restart.
I'm gonna do twenty five percent and then grid editor. I have to wait till everyone's in here. I'm going to talk with Kevin about this odd occurrence. I've never seen it happen before. I saw Stucky in here, yeah. Oh, I need to turn palm effect off anyway. Right, so what do you guys want to talk about in the mean fucking time? Because it started with Jess being disconnected first, and then immediately everyone else following suit. I thought I was being disconnected, and the game had desynced me entirely. So I thought, oh, the session's just ended. Looks like we're going to play the podium sequence. Fast as fuck. Right, I do have the positions of all the drivers now. So Jess Abbott is in P1, Sosteku, then it was Lucas. Then Tigo, but Tigo's not here yet, so we're gonna wait on Tigo. I think this might be a brand new record for fastest disconnect in F123. So Jess Abbott, Sosteku, Lucas, then it's Tigo Defunde. Then Haku. Then Streetlight, then Merit. Because we lost a few people. So we're missing Veckel. Matt Stakes, are we? Yeah, Matt Stakes. And Lewis KYFC. And of course, of course, after a disconnect, we don't have Lewis anymore. So we're just going to call him DNF from session. P1, P2, P3, then Tigo. Then it was Vekuli above. Then 
then street light, then mat stakes, then merit. And we're still waiting on Lewis KYFC. Who is offline? So when the game crashed, or when the game crashed is pronounced. Stack, Matt Stack, right. Sorry. I didn't know I had to learn the entirety of the English language just to figure out someone's name. Sorry about that though. I think we just get going. If you can tell everyone else in chat, we're just going to get going. I'm hoping I do not get desync from the start again. Wood weighing on his merit. There we go. We're gonna get going to Texas. I'm so close to saying baby back ribs. Oh, I already said it. Fuck it. Baby back ribs. Baby back ribs. Baby, baby, baby back ribs. They only need Baby back ribs. Baby back. Baby back. Baby back. Baby back. Baby back. Yeah, obviously. He, since Merit's world champion and Deku had a pace of tier two. Oh, by the way, all penalties before the restart have been reset, so any penalties you had before, including Maz 20 seconds, technically, no longer count. So, Mar, if you were trying to increase your championship lead, unfortunately, due to this session restart, it's been decided that penalties from the restart will not be carried over. Wait, a P5. And it's lights out and away we go. And oh my God, why do you guys freeze up randomly? Fuck it, I don't care for desynced. Anyways, Jess Abbott's gonna lead away from the pack. And she's oversteering. Oh dear, set up problems. Sasteku right behind and actually being able to gain the advantage on her, getting really close. Was keeping up the pace. Streetlight's gonna get ahead of Matt Stakes. There's cautions in sector one. Matt Stakes is off track. 
at the S's. That is not good for him. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Sorry about that. Anyways, Jess is going to be leading away a, from this ray. A sus Deku right behind Vekul. Vekuli is still pushing. The back of the grid is getting very close to each other. Merritt especially. He just loves touching the rear end of that Mercedes. Jesus Christ, dude. Stop dive bombing inside of people. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck is he doing? What the fuck is my man's doing? Lucas is going to get the first penalty and lead the championship. Three seconds of penalties. He's in probably enjoying that. Somehow all of the tier, P, tier 2 people are suddenly able to keep within range of each other. But yeah, Tigo de Fane. He is chasing after Lucas and if DRS was on, this is 100% a Durst train. In starting at the top with Lucas and ending at the bottom with Merritt, who is not in DRS range. He's just his, and that's and that's Vel Vel Vel, Vel Hakkinen off track. And Velka, we have Team Radio, fucking idiots. Miguel's for Mercedes is also going to say, I probably can't say that without getting mad off of YouTube. I don't even know what that means in a loving language. And Merit is in P5. What the fuck is he doing? What the fuck is my man's doing? I don't know if he mentally okay or if he is insane. Streetlight, oh my god, there were two penalties all the ones and that was not, no, 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 no. Jess Abbott gets the fast sap, 135.7. Surprisingly, not having your setup complete makes you faster. DRS now enabled. So if you, so remember folks, if you fail to set up your setup in time, just remember. You're always going to get the fastest lap at the end of the day. I don't know why, but I felt like I was smoking a cigarette after saying that. I don't smoke. It just... Actually, now I'm thinking... Oh, Tigo's just done an overtake on Lucas, but Lucas is going to get the position back in a switchback. He's gonna get the position back and switch back and the bit back and the bit back and the back back. He's gonna get the switch back and the back back and the bit the back and the bit the pack in the back. Tigo's gonna get a position, but then he's gonna get three seconds, and Lucas is gonna go ahead of him. Him, but then Tigo is gonna get the position. No, he's not actually. I don't know what they're doing here, but it looks to be a dush train between Salva and a McLaren. Who did you have full attendance until now? Anyways, four laps into the restart now. Oh, they're gonna go side by side. And Tigo is going to get ahead of Lucas. The streetlight now left to make another move. Unless here, can Lucas make an overtake? Does he want to on the asses? Six seconds of merit now leading the championship of penalties. Mr. 
Mr. Bombastic, very fantastic. Mm -hmm. How is Jess so fast? Is a mystery that will never be solved. And if she isn't winning tier one when she goes for season three, I will be very fucking surprised. It's an Alpha Romeo 3 4. Mmm. Lovely. Sal was just taking all the glory and being like, yep, there's a has one too, but we're doing a 3 4. The chain's ruined because in order to get a Mercedes 5 6, Hakkinen would need to pull his act together. Uh, and Vecca would need to get past Merit. Two very difficult and challenging tasks. However, if you were Kimi Raikkonen, then maybe not so challenging. Personally, which driver do you think out of all of these drivers, is the best driver other than Jess, because we all know she is the best driver. Who, but who is your, like everyone in this league, if you had to account for tier one, tier two, and tier three, who is the best driver? Because you have Rico, you have Jess, you have... WPC Combat, who's leading the tier three championship. Then you also have the Penalties Championship Heroes as VTech and Mar. Uh, for now, I don't know what Tier 1's Penalties Championship looks like because I'm still waiting on Austria. Again, if you are a Tier 1 driver and are currently watching this broadcast, please get into contact with me. I'm desperately in need of... Yeah, but we're kind of just waiting now for something to happen. The question is, though, Watson, what's going to happen? Beckel is going to pull his act together, but it's Hakkinen. No, Veckel's not going to pull his act together. He's now in P9, the back of the grid. Matt Stakes overtaking him. Smooth operator. Smooth operator. Is there any F1 teams starting with the name F? And is there any teams with... If the letter U or C or K, oh, Kick Salba can go at the end. But who are the other three teams? Oh yeah, we do have Ferrari. So we have the F and the K. What the fuck? Jess Abbott corner cutted. Going into the pit lane, Sosteku is now leading the Grand Prix. This is what Jess was afraid of. Tico getting ahead. Streetlight getting ahead. Lucas getting ahead. Is Merritt gonna get ahead? No, Merritt is gonna enter the pits. What about Hakkinen? Is Hakkinen gonna make a big position move? I don't know, is Jess out of the pits? Jess is about to leave the pits, but let's see. He does Hakkinen have the speed to get ahead of Jess Abbott? No, Jess is out of the pits before Hakkinen. And Veckel right behind I mean, Merritt in P9 now, last in the grid. It's Veckel gets ahead of Matt's at Stax. 
acts right behind. And forcefully so. But there it is, Jess Abbott's gonna need the recovery drive of her life to get ahead of Lucas, Streetlight, Tigo, and Sosteku. Merritt gets nine seconds of penalties now, leading further. Lucas P2 ooh, and Tigo P3. Yeah, there's the podium for the penalties championship of this race. We started with 11 drivers, we ended up with 9 of them. And even then they're providing us some entertaining racing action. Sus Deku's gonna pit, Tigo's gonna pit, Streetlight is gonna stay out! Streetlight has got balls, he's gonna take... I think that might be it. Yes, Streetlight is now leading the Grand Prix! The Streetlight... Joy to the world. Jess isn't going to try that much though, because Jess only has 12 seconds to catch up on... onto Streetlight. Streetlight is running away with this, but the question is, how long until Jess... not Jess, Streetlight has to pit? When is he going to pit? And will any of his competitors be able to determine the moves that he's going to make soon? The drivers have had to make like four pit stops during this race. Or three. Or two, technically. There's Veckel getting ahead of Tigo de Fun on Hacken and stuck behind Tigo. Oh, he's got no other way round him, he's just gonna have to deal with it. Streetlight's gonna enter the pit. So now all determines on Streetlight getting a fast pit stop, otherwise, Jess is gonna take the lead. And I think that might be it. Jess Abbott, fastest lap, 135.2. She is going to lead this Grand Prix once again. And Sustaku as well. Veckel P3. Tigo P4. Lucas gets P5. Streetlight P6. He leaves the pit lane in P6. He DNFs. Yes, that's Merritt out of the session. Again, as I said earlier, you continue to carry your penalties even if you DNF out the race. So Merritt is still leading the championship if in penalties. He's Lucas now in P2, Streetlight P3, Etigo P4. As I walk through the valley of a shadow with death, I take a look at my life and realize nothing's left. Eight drivers left in this Grand Prix, no matter what, people are guaranteed points. So you can crash out anyone on lap 13 and you're still guaranteed points because you completed 90% of the race distance. So, uh, if anyone wants to crash on lap 13, that's your choice. You just didn't hear it from me.
Matt states that's three seconds. Hakkinen is catching up to Matt Stakes, but does he make an overtake through the corners of the asses? No, he doesn't, but he is going to make an overtake sooner or later. He is gaining the gap on Matt Stakes. He's going to go side by side with into the corner. He has the inside line. He is going to get it over Matt Stakes, now forced to stay behind. I mean, that's Hakkinen, P7. But I think Matt Stakes is going to get the position back. Is he, though? That is the question. No, he's not. But anything can happen during these Grand Prix. I don't actually know. I don't think I put any restrictions off. Yeah, no, you're allowed to use it any sort of assist, whatever you like, whatever you please. You could find nine with some traction control. You could have some anti-lock brakes so that you don't lock up in every corner. It does cost you some speed and pace though. In fact, most of the assists will cost you speed. One way or another. And I'd love to get an SRC set up, sim... Whatever they're called again, they're fucking called... Sim Racing, I'd love to get one of those setups, because they're an easy peasy. But the thing is, they said it was been leaked, it's not been leaked at all. Your traction control is turned off. Okay, I don't know what they were doing in settings over there, but I'll investigate and see what's going on. This is just pretty much a casual conversation. It's not really much racing action to talk about. I mean, we have a few familiar faces, like Streetlight, Jess Abbott, Sus Deku, who you may know from Tier 3. You got Lucas, who I've never seen in a race before. You chose to! That is commitment. That is commitment to the sport. I, I props to you, props. Two laps left to go in the scrum parade. Hey. We're pretty much just chilling. We're having a nice time. We're, we're drinking some soup. We're drinking some soup. Mm. To be fair though, in all of the time that we've seen the world champion of Jess Abbott, we've never actually heard her voice. We've only ever really heard Tigo's. That's it. I don't know if anyone wants to do post race interviews, considering tonight is a bit tiring. So I'm going to leave it up to them if they want one or not. I'm not going to host it. I'm only going to do it if people want it. Matt Stakes, he's trying to challenge for the lead, but he's not going to get it. He's not going to get it, bro. He's not going to get it. He's not going to get it. We're on the final lap of the Grand Prix. You can now officially crash out with no repercussions since you've completed 90% of the race distance. So Steku's going to get three seconds. Jess Abbott's going to get three seconds. <laughs> J 
Jess Abbott, three seconds. Sosteku, three seconds. Tigo, three seconds. Streetlight, six seconds. And Lucas, six seconds. Matt Stake, six seconds. Merritt, nine seconds. What an insanity. Has an horizon. Is everyone in here going to get a penalty? In fact, the only people who don't have penalties... It's Veckel and Hanukkah. Ha Hakkinen. <laughs> My brain cell just disintegrated and then reappeared and said it's Hakkinen. But Jeff Sabbath on the final lap of the Grand Prix now. Veckel's gonna get three seconds. Hakkinen is the only person in here without a time penalty. That is dedication to the sport, my guy. Bum bum ba da dum bum 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 ba da dum bum 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 ba da dum bum 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 ba da dum bum 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 da 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 I think in F1 they should bring back the V10 engines and in F2 have the V6 engines. Ground effect era cars with a V10 engine might actually not be bad. As Jess Abbott, no, hold on, Sosteku! Sosteku finishes ahead of Jess Abbott at the last second! Sosteku is the winner of the American Grand Prix! Tigo to Fande, P3, Streetlight P4, Lucas P5, Vacal P6. Hanukkah is coming up now. And finally, Matt Stax is going to get into the last available position in this race. This is not actually last place. <laughs> he bins it and he fails to bin it onto the start line. What a yoke. But there it is. I'm going to get the British anthem loaded up. So, um, sit back and relax. That's weird. Right, okay. I can't seem to play the national anthem for Jess Ab for not Jess Abbott. I was meant to play the American national anthem. But there it is, Sus Deku is the winner of Windshift S. Oh, there we go. 
is the winner of the American Grand Prix. Uh, this is the wrong server. But there it is, Jess lost, gets P2. Oof. But there it is. Yeah, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm gonna try and play the anthem for you again. So sorry. Play. American National. I didn't think we'd hear it twice today. So, I thank you all for watching and coming to Tier 2 tonight. Like and subscribe to the TSRL 